Hello, this is the first video in a series on conducting academic research on the college level. Before we can even begin conducting research properly, we need to be aware of exactly what types of resources are out there and how they differ from each other. So that's what we'll focus on for this video. Now, obviously, the sources most of us are most familiar with are websites. We use them all the time, obviously, just to gather some basic knowledge on random topics we're interested in or that we need to look up for our everyday lives, like how to hack IKEA furniture, for example. So most of our Googling involves browsing through non-academic sources. Of course, we can also Google for academic purposes, but we can't apply the same search strategies that we use in our day-to-day -day internet searching. That's where many of the problems arise. But we'll delve deeper into that in part two of this video series. The most academic and reliable sources you can find are not easy to access with a Google search. You'll want to access the library databases. These are usually not free for the general public, but if you're enrolled in college, you do have free access to these online library databases. Ask your librarian or your professors, they'll be glad to guide you to them. In fact, even as a high school student, you likely have access to some library databases. The sources found in these databases tend to be the most professional and most reliable because they're subjected to a process called peer review, which we'll talk about in much more detail in a later video of this series. Let's not forget one other type of source though, books. These were a whole thing back in the day, they have pages. You can access them at your local library, you can access them sometimes also at your university library, and they're kind of magic. University libraries often house stacks and stacks of books, but many are also going mostly digital and predominantly feature the library databases that we just discussed. But I feel like so many of us forget these days that we all have access to local public libraries. Obviously, you can check out physical books at your local library, but you can also check out electronic books to your Kindle, your tablet, whatever electronic reading device you use. You can even download songs for free sometimes or check out movies. Really, if you haven't been to your local library in a while, please do go check that out. That covers the basics on your smorgasbord of research options. For comprehensive research, you never want to limit yourself to just one type of source. So next up, we'll be focusing on optimizing your web searches. In part two of this series, we'll be talking specifically about how to Google. You think you know, but you kind of don't. <laughs> 